Oh, what's going on everybody see here? Welcome back to some more Ark Survival Center. Today, we, well, today we're going to begin our revenge series on that first cave. Because you know what? That first cave took a lot from us. It took, it took red. It took some of our gear. But most importantly, it took our pride. And we can't have that. So hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. Can't complain. Anyways, what does that mean for us? That means today we're getting prepared. That means today... We are gonna go, uh, we're gonna go a little fully automatic here on these bad boys because you know what? I don't care. That is the way we do things here, and that's the way we're gonna do things here. We're gonna get this guy ready to go, and we're gonna hopefully find ourselves a dino that we can take into the cave with us. But um, yeah, you know what? Mm, I'm ready. I am ready. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Hopefully, you're on fantastic day, like I said. So what we've got going on here, let's pop into here. We have composites. And I need polymer, so cementing paste and obsidian. That is the first source of obsidian that I'm going to need. Um, and I also need cementing paste. So we have uh, we have some cementing paste here. However, uh, cementing paste is made in uh, it's made in here. And the requirements for cementing paste is uh, chitin, keratin, and stone. Which is actually, if I go into one of these one of these have a whole bunch of stone already in it yeah you perfect okay so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna grab this uh let's grab all of these goodies and let's start making some of that so let's go ahead and just get this in here uh basically 89 that's it that's it okay well then that that is a, that's a thing <laughs> that's absolutely a thing so what do i need for composite so two cementing paste and obsidian so let's run up let's go grab some obsidian to start with because that's an easy one and then uh we'll come back we'll make the rifle then we'll go ahead and start making some rounds we'll go ahead and get some of that stuff going uh you know fun fun stuff but yeah oh my gosh that that cave was uh that cave was a little rough for us the other day and uh we got it we got to make sure that we're a little bit more prepared than that and that like i said that was the first cave that was the easy one that was the one that people like don't even try to do and i failed miserably at it so um uh, oh you know what Hold on, I need to grab some, let me grab some berries for our Anki. Okay, so small issue. <laughs> There's some fog here. <gasps> oh, oh, it was starting to clear up a little bit. Um, <gasps> There we go. I was like, man, we gotta be coming up close here because I can see my Anki, uh, I can see my Anki thing, but I couldn't see the, I could actually see where the Anki was. So, um, go ahead and pop down. You know what? I really, really hope there's nothing spawned over there. Oh, that would be a terrible, terrible thing, wouldn't it? All right, let's get some stuff on you. Let's get some weight on you. Okay. You know, I'm a little worried that I can't see over there. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. somebody else's Zanky's up here. See, I almost didn't know that. What do you have in your inventory? You have some stone. Okay, so I need some obsidian. Uh, but I need some metal as well. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start getting, uh, we'll get some metal mined up here and then I'll get some obsidian and uh, we'll be good. You know what? Instead of sitting here for 15 minutes waiting for the fog to go away, I just disabled fog. <laughs> Forget the fog. I'm not playing with it right now. We're gonna go ahead, we'll just get some, we'll get our metal, we'll get our stuff and we'll be on our way. Oh my gosh, do we have two gigas up here now? Hold on a second, we gotta check this out. There's a wild one at level four. What are you? Oh, um, there is two of them up here now. Oh, that's so sketchy. My base is like right around that corner right there. Basically, this thing is looking down on my base right now down there. Oh, that's terrifying. All right. So I got a whole bunch of metal here. Actually, we got a ton of metal. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, a little like 1200. So like 600 ingots. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw that into the furnaces up here for now. I'd like to. I really actually, you know what? When do we get our blast furnace? Is it, no, it's not. It's not blast. It's industrial, right? So our industrial furnace, we get at 80, I believe. Oh my gosh. That's going to be a huge thing. Uh, we're level 78 right now. So we're not super far off, but eventually industrial furnace is going to be going up here. And this is where we're going to be doing our, uh, all of our metal processing for sure. Without a doubt, but I'm going to go ahead and get the metal into, uh, into these furnaces. And then we're going to go grab some obsidian. We'll throw it on King Cluck and then we'll head, to, uh, head back to our base can you get on our can you get on my foundations here bud or not not gonna happen there you go okay don't push me off now obsidian is super heavy so i'm hoping i think the bird has a reduction on obsidian 
Uh, yes, it does. Okay, it has a half, uh, fifty percent weight on the bird, which is great. Because, like I said, we're gonna need a decent amount of it for the, um, for the uh, the polymer. Now, a dodicarus would probably actually be better up here for this, but. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna fly my dodecarus all the way up here right now. Maybe we'll get another one and bring another dodecarus up here. You know what? We're gonna go down the mountain a little bit. I'm gonna collect some flint so we can get some uh, some spark powder being made up here. That way, these furnaces can get going because there's no there's no actual stones right here to grab. <laughs> there's no stone, so there's no flint, and uh, that just doesn't really work out very well, does it? So. We're going to go just straight down here and I'm going to harvest up a few of these flint nodes, take it up, make it into uh, some spark powder just so we can get our stuff being uh, made into metal. That way it'll be it'll be good once we come back for it later because we're going to need to make a bunch of rounds. Ooh, this is not a good spot. I will fall from here for sure. This is also not a great spot. Okay, I don't see... I don't see certain death here. Perfect. Okay, so we'll throw some spark, throw some of this in there. Get this spark powder going. And then while that's going and starting its thing, I can go over here and grab some more um, obsidian to throw on our bird friend here. All right, so I got one for, I stacked everything into one furnace. That way I don't have to worry about like just fuel running out. Um, it is going to run out eventually, but we're not going to be a backup here for a little bit anyway. So. Also grab 250, 295 iron uh, ingots. So that'll get us started somewhere as well on the, um, you know, everything that we're gonna need. So let's go ahead and let's head back and let's get some things made up. All right, you loaded bird. Let's see if we can't make some, uh, make some goodies here. So I need to go ahead. We're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need to get some fuel. So let's see, where is our, where's like the oil? Where's our oil and gasoline at? <laughs> Oil and gas. Okay, wait, hold on. There's wait. So I must have actually must have fuel in one of these. Oh my gosh, I have a ton of metal in here that needs to be smelted out as well. All right, so we'll throw that in there. And then we need to throw in obsidian and cementing paste. Let's get the bird closer here because <laughs> you are chocked full of obsidian. And then we need some cementing paste, which is, well, man, we have some in here. So I guess we'll go ahead and. I'll leave a little bit in here. I don't want to take all of that out. Um, no, you, Hey, there's 89. Okay. So we'll grab that. Uh, and then what I need is composites and I need what? 60, I believe it's 60 polymer. Let me, let me go ahead and make sure here. Yeah. 60 polymer. So composites, this guy, I'm only going to craft what I need right now just because like we're in the early stages of, uh, well, you know, <laughs> you know how it goes. So we'll let that do its thing. And then what else do we need for our fun new rifle here? So we need 50 spending paste and 35 metal ingots. That is crafted at the fabricator. Fantastic. And then um, gunpowder and metal for the fabricator as well. So actually, we go ahead and grab these 295 here. We'll throw those in here. And then we need some gunpowder, which I'm not actually sure where I have gunpowder i mean i have a little bit right there i might not actually have a lot of that that might be a thing in itself that we might have to uh make as well uh okay i have a little gunpowder right there yeah let's go ahead and let's check let's grab the charcoal all right so we need to go ahead and we need to get uh spark powder and charcoal so we need to go get we need to get some more spark powder going actually this is the wrong must be the first one. First one okay first one so i need to go get some stone and some flint in order to make spark powder and this so we can make the charcoal all right let's see so let's get that let's get that salt rifle going and then we need to start making some uh ammo so we need to start making these a medium caliber modern bullet primarily used with the fabricated rifles so we need some of those but i also we're still gonna be using the long neck because the, the long neck does a lot of damage on itself by itself so all right uh, I'll go ahead and throw those in here. Actually, how many of those? I could craft 10 if I turn it on. Okay. So what we need is we need stone and flint in order to get more um, spark powder going. So let's go get... What's my inventory full of right now? Not a whole lot of anything. Let's go get the dough dickerous out and we'll go get a whole bunch of stone and then I will go get a whole bunch of flint as well. Okay, so we got one little, one little dough decorous full of, uh, full of stone here. So we'll go ahead and throw all this in here. 
And then I need to go get a bunch of flint. Oh shoot, that's full now. Okay, so you know what? We're actually gonna hold this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna put this into a different inventory for now. We'll just toss it in here. That'll work. Throw that in there. Okay, so now I need to go get some flint. So uh yeah, yeah, you can actually stay here. I'm just gonna go grab it by hand since I don't have I think the Anki actually gives us flint. But I don't want to bring the Anki all the way back down here, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go out and use my uh use the trusty old pick. Okay, so the spark powder is off to the race. We got like 200 coming in here. We don't have a lot. You know what? I'm going to have to. We're going to have to get a, a flint collector here because <laughs> that's just taking forever. So we're going to have to definitely get a flint collector. But that is that. So now what I want to try to do is I want to go into here. And what do we need for regular ammo? So for a simple and odd bullet encasing used with forged rifles, 12 gunpowder and two metal ingots per round however they do they do more um damage per shot i believe i believe it's more damage per shot i'm not 100 sure we'd have to test it you know if i'm not mistaken actually one of these one of these covers has a bunch of flint in it. it has like four stacks or something like that hey right there it is and a bunch of stone would you look at that would you just look at that and then we're gonna go ahead and just start making gunpowder in this one so there's like 200 what is gunpowder uh one charcoal one spark powder that's not terrible so i think the dino that we actually need for the cave while we're waiting for other stuff is actually the baryonyx so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna learn that saddle now unfortunately <laughs> the baryonyx if i'm not mistaken is actually the thing that <laughs> Oh man, we had a run in with a few times and it scared the bejesus out of me because if I'm if I'm not mistaken It's the one that can jump really far um, and the one that kind of looks like it has like a crocodile head or something like that on it um, Yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna fly around and we're actually gonna see if we can find a baryonyx I think I think there's some right over here not 100% sure and um, If we can find a higher level one that would be ideal so let's see do we have any uh let's go ahead and get let's get some more weight on you let's get weight right to a thousand on you guys on this thing um uh, let's go grab some food since everything else is kind of like crafting up right now we might as well just kind of like leave it and let it uh let's see i threw a bunch of meat in one of these we'll take that and that yeah we'll take that a full stack that'll work okay now, like I said, I believe there's a bear. There's some baryonyx right over here, but the problem is that they're also with the sarcos. So we need to kind of make sure that we get it away from everything. They're always swimming right over here. If it's the one that I think it is, if it's not, if it's not the dino that I think it is, then I then I <laughs> then I don't know. Like that one right there. Is that a baryonyx? Yes, level eight though. Okay, well that one's not really gonna be super useful for us, but that is exactly what I thought I was looking for. He's just only level eight. Shoot. Uh, why am I not moving? Okay, hello. Keyboard, <laughs> let's go. Ooh, there's a, is that? Is that a Barry Alex? No, that's a Capra Succus. Pretty sure that's a Capra Succus. Yeah, that's a Capra Succus. Trying to see if I can see any more Baryonyx. I do not like hanging out in the swamp, though. So I can tell you right now, if I <laughs> if there's one in the swamp, oh, it might just have to wait. I'm trying to find one like on a river, like right on the edge of the swamp. Because I just, the swamps are so, they're so deadly. Let's see what we got over here. See, we got some like raptors and carnos and stuff. Is that an icky? Oh, it's a, a saber tooth salmon. Are you kidding me right now? I didn't know there was such thing as a saber tooth salmon. <laughs> can you tame that? I bet you probably can't. I thought that was an icky. I was like, what's an icky doing all the way up here? No, that's a saber tooth salmon. <laughs> Oh, just when you thought the fish, the salmon was delicious and safe. Oh, oh, oh no, there's a saber tooth variant. That's actually really funny. So I've not seen any other cat or any other um, baryonyx over here. 
We got a spino. Um, I know the bear. It seems like the bear ants like to hang out in the water. So. Oh, wait, is that one? That was a baryonyx. And it just got slapped by a spino. It was right there. It's a good sign, though. There might be more over here. You know, I'm actually thinking, so I can't really find one of these guys, right? However, I had a lot of fun on the terror birds. And there are quite a few terror birds around here. I've had a lot of fun on those things. Um, now, I don't know how viable they actually are for caves and stuff, but I know they're pretty small. And I feel like they can have rather high damage output, but then again, I'm not sure. Cause I was playing on a, uh, I was playing modded when I played, uh, when I played on that. So I could be wrong. Hmm. I might I have to check that out. Actually, I think I might've just saw a Baryonyx over here. This is a terrible place. So I mean, like we've got Titanobos, there's Carnos, there's Alpha Raptors. Uh, is that one or is that a Caprosuchus? Yeah, it's a Caprosuchus. Okay. And it's taking on a Fioma. Uh, winner, winner. Look at that. He, he, you did something there. You took out a poop machine. Oh, there's one. Uh, it's level 48. I mean, that's not the, it's not the worst thing ever, but he's in the middle of a swamp and <laughs> you know how I feel about swamps. Yeah. That guy right there. He could be handy. Hmm. Come on, Fioma. Take out that Titanoboa. I want to see it happen. You can win. You can do this. Prove your spot on the food chain <laughs> that you're not on the bottom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's getting bloody. I don't think he's going to make it. I thought the snake was bloody, but I think the snake is just... <gasps> he won. Good job. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I'd ever see a Fioma beat anything before. I, I never even thought that was possible. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Let's see. So this is where that level eight was. Yeah, it's, I think it's that guy right there. Hmm. You know what? I think we're just going to wait. I think we're going to wait. We're going to keep searching. I might actually do a little bit more research because I, you know, I like the terror chickens. The terror chickens are pretty fun. However, if they're, if they're not good, then I probably shouldn't try taking one of those into the cave. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out. I always do that. I always hit E by accident. Um, okay. So we've got this bad boy, which is amazing, uh, but we need to make some ammo for it now. So let's go grab our gunpowder over here. Pop into here, drop these off. Okay, so we've got weapons, ammo. This 36 is all we can make. Ouch. Oh wait, each one makes two rounds. Okay, so that's not terrible. Well, that's still pretty expensive because it is fully, I, th I think this is fully automatic, right? Uh, <laughs> The fastest way to fill a target with holes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We're going to try this bad boy out though. We got to try it out on something. Okay. So pull this bad boy out. Oh my gosh. Like, come on. That is, that's beautiful. Like, I don't, I don't even want to try. Oh, we got to shoot something. Okay. Hold on. We got to, we got to, we got to see how much damage it does. Now it's probably not going to be very accurate from super far away. The problem with turtles is I know they have, I know they have like, oh, you annoying birds. Oh, that was one shot and it did 140. Wow. That's actually pretty good. So, okay. <laughs> okay. That wasn't bad. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that, that wasn't bad. Let's see if we can drop another one. One shot. <laughs> Okay, not bad. So we're going to take this and we'll take this down with us. I'll probably try to make some more ammo though, for sure. Because actually all we're needing is, 
I see some more gunpowder. I need to really focus on making gunpowder. I'll probably I'll probably be focusing on that uh, during some live streams and stuff. Also streaming over on Twitch.tv slash doing gaming. Actually, probably time. Mm, I don't know when they, whenever this comes out. We'll be we stream over on uh, Twitch on Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings and then Saturday evenings. So yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some of this. We'll throw it in here. And we'll go ahead and make uh, some gunpowder. Oh, look at that. All oh, 300, 400, 500. Let's go. Okay, let's move some of this out. Throw some of this in. There's a 600. There's 714. Wow. Look at us. Making all the gunpowder. All that GP. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we've got those now. Um, we do need to make. Hold on, before we get before we get too far ahead of ourselves here, um, we need to make some. We need to make some long rifle ammo as well. I really wish I could make long rifle ammo in here. I made a total of six rounds. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> okay, that'll work for now. All right, and then what we're gonna be doing is let's see if we go in our weapons and ammo. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot we have some um, advanced bullet. I think this is for a pistol. What do we need to craft a pistol? I mean, might as well. We got some ammo for it. Uh, let's see if we go into here. Simple pistol, fabricated pistol. There we go. Requires um, one. What advanced bullet? Wait, what does this require? What is this? Advanced bullet. Advanced bullet. Okay. So. If we go into weapons, firearms, we need cementing paste, polymer, and metal. And then we can make a uh, a pistolio. That actually would probably be handy. And I bet you the ammo for it. Oh, I bet you the ammo is cheaper too. Let's actually go ahead and make that as well. Cementing paste, polymer, metal ingot. Um, okay, so I need more cementing paste. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Um, craft all 75 and let's see, I probably have some more. Do I have any more cementing paste in here? Aha, I got a little bit more in there. Okay. So that'll work. Let's go ahead and throw these in there and then I need 35 polymer. So go ahead and make those while that's doing its thing. Let's get, uh, let's get our other armor on. Unfortunately, I don't have any better armor than just uh, the flak stuff right now. All right, and there's our pistol. We'll go ahead and get that bad boy ready too. Ta-da! All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put that there. Put this there. And then... Go ahead and grab that. I mean, come on. Now we're ready for some things. <laughs> oh yep we're ready <laughs> we killed a dodo i feel so powerful <laughs> oh man okay hold on i can't let that dodo go to waste okay i feel bad about the dodo the other birds in the water i don't care those things are just annoying and they're terrible horrible awful disasters that nobody likes uh but the dodos you know everybody feels sad they're like fluffy chickens all right so we've got weapons we've got a little bit of ammo we need more ammo um and then we still need a dino I feel like we need a dino to go in the cave. We could probably go alone. Is that the Baryonyx right there? Oh, no, that's the Parasaur. Okay. So I was like, wow, it followed us all the way over here. It did not. So not bad, not bad. Oh, we got to go check. Oh, my gosh. We got to go check on the dung beetle. We got to go see what the dung beetle's been up to. If he's been crafting, if he's been making so much. How much, uh, how much, how much fertilizer have you made, little buddy? An entire inventory full of fertilizer. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Dude, this thing is insane. I don't even have enough storage in here for all this. I don't even have enough storage in here for all this. This is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and get everything uh, fertilized up here. Holy moly. How are these ones looking? We will never need fertilizer ever again in our lives. Never. We'll never need it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw a thing of fertilizer in each one of these. Oh, am I out? I'm out. <laughs> That's insane. A full... We already have a full storage box of fertilizer. Just from this little crafter. 
I mean, we also have 70 oil, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> that's so, that is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. How's your stem berries looking here? Uh, you're looking great. Oh my gosh. That's, that's wild. Alrighty. And with that, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to end it there. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for support. And like I said, we will probably be live streaming at some point. Uh, so if you guys want to catch the live, uh, twitch.tv slash C1 gaming, hope to see you there. Would love to see you there. And uh, yeah, we got we got more things to do. We got so much more to do. Um, like I said, live streams, I usually just do a whole bunch of grindy stuff. Uh, we might go out and try to find like a Baryonyx or we might go try to find Terror Birds. That's something a little higher level, you know, so we can spend a couple hours looking for it. Or we might just, you know, make more ammo. I really just like, you know, I want to make a bunch of ammo. <laughs> I kind of do. And I kind of want to get, um, if we can hit level 80 and get to the industrial furnace and then go up, up top and be able to make like a whole bunch of um, metal and stuff like that. That would be amazing. And is there any, you know what, actually now I'm thinking about it, I wonder if there's any alternate recipes for spark powder. Because spark powder is probably the grindiest thing we have to make. But you know what? That's okay. That's still not that bad. So, uh, but yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.